let's go back to our case presentation for a minute. We gave this patient oxygen of 4 liters by nasal cannula. We did an arterial blood gas on him. Here's your blood gas. You have a PaO2 of 60, a PCO2 of 28, a pH of 7.51, and an, S, uh, uh, an O2 sat of 93%. His EKG shows left ventricular hypertrophy. We put him on a dobutamine drip at 2.5 mics per kilo per minute, and we gave him furosemide. So first thing I want is, can you interpret that blood gas? Tell me what is wrong with that blood gas. So my PO2, okay, first of all, you need to know a normal, you need to know normals on blood gases, all right? So you have a PO2 should be between 80 to 100. A PCO2 is 35 to 45. Normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So if I look at my blood gas now, my PO2 is low. So he's got some hypoxia going on, right? My pH is alkalotic, and my PCO2 is low. So my PCO2 and my pH have moved opposite directions of each other, so I have a respiratory problem going on, and it's alkalosis. So you have respiratory alkalosis going on with your blood gas. Now I want you to think about why the provider ordered the dobutamine and the furosemide. Why would I put this patient on dobutamine? What did we say dobutamine does? It improves our cardiac output and it decreases your systemic vascular resistance, doesn't it? Why would I give him the Lasix? To diurese him. So let's look at this question then. Which is the correct answer? What is the purpose of starting the dobutamine infusion and administering the furosemide? Is it answer number one, to increase myocardial contractility and reduce ventricular preload? Is it number two, to increase the myocardial contractility and reduce ventricular afterload? Number three, to reduce the myocardial contractility and increase ventricular preload? Or number four, to increase myocardial contractility and increase ventricular afterload? Take a guess. You can just put, put the number down here. Which, which answer would you pick? Okay. Have to really think about this, okay? You had to really go back and think. So w what we want to do is dobutamine, all right? We just said that um, we know what furosemide is going to do. Everybody's good with that. It diuresis, right? It diuresis and um, therefore it's going to help improve um, it's going to improve your uh, preload right and the dobutamine we said was going to actually improve your cardiac output and decrease your systemic vascular resistance so the correct answer on this one is actually number one Furosemide assists in the control of volume, and we know that he had a volume issue. It was in that scenario he had congestion, didn't he? So we want to get rid of some of that excess volume. So that's what furosemide is going to help us do. It's going to diurese him to remove some of that volume, and it's going to reduce the preload. The dobutamine is going to improve the cardiac efficiency because there's some mild heart failure or some myocardial failure is present. So that the best answer is number one. Does that make sense to you why we're doing that? This was, and these are the kind of questions that are hard because you have 
couple increases, couple decreases, then you have to go back to some of those hemodynamics. All right. Can I say it again? Absolutely, I can. So furosemide is going to assist in the control of the volume because he's got volume overload, right? He's got heart failure. And, and we knew that because um, on his exam, he was congested, all right? And he had, we, we talked about that. With heart failure, they have congestion. So the furosemide is now going to diurese some of that fluid, and it's going to decrease the preload. The dobutamine now is going to improve the, the cardiac efficiency because he has heart failure, and the pump isn't working all that well. So the dobutamine now is going to, we're going to get rid of all the extra fluid, which will improve the preload, okay, which is the amount of blood that's coming back to the ventricle to be pumped out. And now that dobutamine is going to Im help improve the squeeze of that ventricle um, to improve cardiac output. Does that make sense? Okay, great.